What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pad and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Clash Mailbag series. So once again, you guys can drop your comments in the YouTube comment section below asking your best questions and I'm going to pick some to be featured in the next video or you can drop them on my Facebook, Twitter or Instagram page which I will link in the description below. But we have a lot of really good questions today so let me go ahead and start it out with Alex from YouTube and he asked what do you think about having an update for a clan civil war, having half the clan versus the other half and or a clan world war, two or more clans versus two or more clans also what do you think about having clan alliances and rivals i think it would be really cool to have a clan civil war being able to pit like say 25 members versus 25 members in your 50 member clan uh, i know my clan has talked about that before i don't think we've actually done it yet or maybe maybe we tried it once but we didn't get matched up um, but that would be really cool if they could do it and i think that's something that wouldn't be too hard to implement i know that um this is a little bit different of an example but their game that's in beta right now smash land they just introduced a challenge feature where players can challenge other players that are inside of their uh, teams which are really clans inside of the game so i think there should be some sort of way to set that up uh, and i think there's a lot of things that supercell can do with clan wars i don't know about a clan world war having two versus two having like a hundred members versus a hundred members that seems a little bit excessive with all those bases um but i definitely think a clan civil war would be cool being able to challenge other clans to a clan war obviously would be a really cool idea i've talked about clan tournaments before i'm not going to harp on that again in this video um, and then like you said having clan alliances would be really neat so being able to link your main clan with your feeder clan not only just using the bookmark feature um, but being able to swap players back and forth like have the meter the the leader of the main clan be able to swap players in between the feeder clan and the main clan and stuff like that i think it would be pretty neat and again like i've always said clans are the most important part of the game personally i think that's why it's such a successful game and there's definitely a lot of things they can do with clans and it's one of the things i i made in my video in the beginning of the year uh, that i wanted to see improved and they added clan levels they added clan perks which are really cool and i think they're heading in the right direction with stuff like that so we'll have to see as they drop that type of stuff um but yeah it would be really really neat to have some of those features so next question from Enrique on Twitter. He asked, do you think Supercell made a mistake by releasing the level 11 wall to Town Hall 10 players? Without a doubt, they made a mistake giving level 11 walls to Town Hall 10 players. They just released it at a really terrible time. Like they released level 11 walls in 2013. The update that they released them in, I think they might've released them with level 10. I know either level nine or level 10 walls, like they came out in a pair or level 10 and 11 walls came out in a pair. One of those came out in the same update. It was a ridiculous amount of content, way too much gold to be spent on your walls. First of all, level 11 walls are really ugly, but second of all, they're super expensive and they just didn't make sense when they released them. They released them in 2013. It's been two years, I think, since level 11 walls came out. And I think that just tells you by itself that the walls were rushed. And because of that, they couldn't release any wall levels since then because obviously 4 million gold or elixir for a single wall is pretty crazy. So I definitely think they rushed the walls um, by releasing the level 11 walls and they should have saved it for Town Hall 11. Uh, but yeah, another thing that they actually rushed that I wanted to talk about and why I picked this question is the fact that they released level 30 heroes for town hall 9 um instead of only level 20 like a lot of this is sort of deviating off the question but if you guys remember when heroes came out uh they only went up to level 30 so at town hall 8 um you could have up to level 10 heroes i think town hall 9 you could have up to level let me see town hall 9 level 30 heroes and then when town hall 10 came out they added up to level 40 heroes well i think they made a big mistake by adding making town hall 9 level 30 they should have just made town hall 9 level 20 and town hall 10 level 30 because when they released level 40 heroes they had to nerf them uh, if you guys remember that big hero nerf update which everyone hated uh, but it ended up being a good thing for the game because the heroes were too powerful it pretty much made the level 40 heroes back to how powerful they were at level 30. So I think those were two mistakes, level 11 walls and level 40 heroes, um, and they should have just stuck with level 10 and level 30 respectively. But that's just my opinion. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think I got a little bit distracted on that question. Anyways, next one. This is the most important question from Fatal Quint Gaming. He asked, Patrick, are you ready to make a My Little Pony video? If you guys didn't know already, I said in my first video I did this year uh, with the five things I want to see in 2015, when I was talking about single player maps, I said I would release a My Little Pony video if uh, I didn't get new single player maps by either June 1st and July 1st. And I went back and looked at the video. I'll link it in the description below. But I did say July first so I still have one month left before I have to post that thing 
Um, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. And I'm hoping with the next update, hopefully it comes out in June and maybe we see some single player maps inside of it, but I'm really not that confident. Uh, so yeah, no, I'm not excited. All right. Anyways, the Emerald Wolf asked if they added a new resource, what do you think it would be used for? Personally, I don't think I would want to see a new resource inside of the game. I think there's a pretty good amount already with Boom Beach. When I was leveling up through Boom Beach, I thought I got a little bit sticky having four uh, different resources and with Clash already having three, I think there's a pretty good balance. If they did introduce a new resource, they'd have to introduce a new feature or a new some new content that that resource was good for. For example, when they released Dark Elixir, they had the heroes come out, um, or Dark Elixir troops actually, I forget, I think, yeah, Dark Elixir troops came out first. Anyways, yeah, they'd have to release some sort of new feature or content to come out if they had a new resource, and that would just be pretty crazy, complicated, and difficult. I think there's other things that they could do to the game, such as clan war tournaments, single player maps, um, all these other great features and requests that people have, rather than a new resource, which could just mess things up and make things pretty ugly, but yeah, maybe you could use it for like upgrading certain things about your troops or getting certain boosts. I don't know. I can't think of a good idea with the resource, but if you guys can, again, always let me know with a comment in the comment section below. Sean Patterson asked on Facebook, what's better, go wipe or go wee wee? What ideal situations are best for each? So good question. I haven't used Go Wee Wee in a while, and if you guys remember, that was my favorite attack strategy, especially when it had just come out. That was one of my favorite attack strategies of all time. I think right now, um, with the multi-targeted Inferno Towers, Giant Bombs, Skeleton Traps, uh, I think Go Wipe is pretty much better. Uh, I think it's pretty solid, and the P.E.K.K.A.s are obviously stronger, and the, the Skeletons with the Witches, it's hard. Like, it used to be three Golems, three Witches, and if you just have three Witches and you're attacking someone with double Inferno Towers and you get to the center of the base, first of all, you're not going to really have that much damage other than your King and your Queen, as well as your Wizards in the back, which can always get shot down pretty easily by a Giant Bomb or something like that. So overall, I just think Go Wipe is more consistent um, than Go Wee Wee for the fact that P.E.K.K.A. obviously have a lot more health. They're not going to be infected, affected by multi-targeted Inferno towers, giant bombs really aren't going to do anything to Pekka. Spring traps, no traps are really going to affect Pekka. Um, and obviously they do a ton of damage. And if you get them to the center of the base and you can lightning spell their clan castle troops or something like that, you're definitely guaranteed at least a star, if not two, if you execute a raid correctly. Uh, so I think go wipe is by far and away the best strategy right now, as far as ground attacks go. Uh, between those two, at least. Anyways, Monty on Facebook asked the final question. He said, can you suggest a hero that level up through experience like using on war or multiplayer? So I think this is a really cool idea that I actually thought this was gonna be how heroes were designed when they came out. Whereas when you dropped your Barbarian King and Archer Queen, they would actually level up off of battles rather than having another resource. Um, and I actually think if Supercell ever introduced a new hero to the game, this might be one of the ways that it worked. So uh, right now you have your king and your queen, which are obviously crazy expensive. And if let's say you released another, uh, if you released another hero, um, I don't think they're ever going to make it so you can have three heroes on the battlefield at once. That's just my guess. I think that would be crazy overpowered. So let's say they only made it two heroes at a time. I think it would be pretty crazy to expect people to level up all three of these heroes, four heroes, five heroes, if they decided to release all these new heroes. So I think it would be better um, if they just, maybe the newer heroes just run through that experience pattern. So you you do 10, you win 10 battles with your hero, your Barbarian King levels up, or your, your Goblin King levels up, if that's the new hero uh, that maybe eventually we see one day. Yeah, I think that would be really cool. I think that would definitely be the best way to do it. Um, and if they release any new heroes, I think it would be pretty interesting to see how they made those heroes level up because I don't think they would try to make people spend another couple million Dark Elixir on upgrading their heroes again. That's just my opinion. Maybe Supercell says screw it and they release five new heroes and make you spend a crazy amount of Elixir or gems or whatever to upgrade them. But I think a, an experience upgrade system would be pretty neat and uh, something I would definitely like to see in the game. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this mailbag. If you have any questions, you can drop them with a comment in the comment section below or again, my social media, which is in the description. That's gonna do it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.